So before we get to our next game, um, something you didn't do that I did was the Secrets of the Empire at the um, in our so it's called the Void. It's a VR experience. Um, that's at Rec Room in West Edmonton Mall. We were gonna try to get together and do that before COVID and stuff hit. Oh, I don't remember much before COVID. Yeah. Um, it's been so long. Um, but uh, I did that thing twice, and it's amazing. Um, was it VR? Dude, okay, well, listen to me talk here, Chris. Um, so uh, I went there. To, I knew this thing existed. I went to a buddy's birthday party and tried this thing on. It's a 50 minute VR experience, and I've told just about anybody who hasn't tried VR. Um, it's expensive. I mean, for us, it's like 35 bucks or 40 bucks for like 15 minutes, which is a big ask for 15 minutes of entertainment. But it's it's the best example of VR like you can show people. Like I was as a guy as a VR enthusiast who like this was like two two and a half years into my VR what all this thing stuff that I do. I was pretty blown away by what this thing offered. I'm this is pre quest, um, but it had hand tracking. So we walked in the room. We're all like, oh my god, like we're doing the hand thing here. And then like of course right away we're giving each other the finger and ah you know me and my three buddies. Are, so it's multiplayer. Uh, you know, it's th- uh, four, three players, right? And then so but it, and it's um it it's it's not just like you put a headset and stand there. It's um the whole the whole void experience. No matter what you play, whether it's Star Wars, Ghostbusters, there's a bunch more Wreck It Ralph. Um, you actually walk through the environment. So it's a little bit of AR and VR mixed together. So they put us in this room. Actually, the first thing we do is they, we get to see a Kalen, Caden or so, uh, the main dude from Rogue One. Um, he basically gives us a mission. Like, you're infiltrating the secret base on, on, on Mustafar. I don't know if it's Mustafar or not. It was a lava planet if it wasn't Mustafar. It doesn't matter. Um, and you and your three other buddies have to, like, go in. You're, you're already disguised as, as, as stormtroopers. Infiltrate the base and, 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 and mess shit up, right? So, of course, we all, you know, we have these big VR helmets on. Like they're, and they're, I remember them being very, very big. We have these huge, giant, haptic vests on. But we're in Stormtrooper armor, so it just works. Like, it Ooh. feels like you have a Stormtrooper helmet on. So you walk in this room, and then right away, the, the whole room starts shaking because you're on, like, an, you're in, like, a ship. And then as you the ship lands, you can see out the windows and stuff. The windows open. They blast heat in your face because you're on Mustafar. So all of a sudden, you're bathed in, this, like, this billowing heat. And you, you, you physically walk out onto this ramp, onto an elevator, now the whole room is shaking because you're on this elevator. They're blowing wind in your face. You can smell. It was just a, it was an extra level of immersion. That's crazy. And then I don't want to talk about. I won't ruin the whole experience. But one of the most amazing parts of the game was basically we're we're, we're undercover, right? So we're just like some sword troopers and like, hey, uh, like go grab those blasters in the corner. I'm like, what? Like, go grab those blasters. And sure enough, I'm in I'm in VR. I'm in full. I'm in some imperial ring. And I go over and I reach for this gun I can see in VR, and I grab a gun. And sure enough, they map these guns to the VR experience. So all of a sudden, I'm like. Like let's do this, boys! And I got the full gun there. Like it's it was just amazing. And then then you go through just ten minutes of like just shooting stormtroopers and monsters and trying to get the hell out of there. And there's like a whole bunch of just Star Wars moments. And it was just it was awesome. And I I can't recommend that as it it was. It, I would do it again. We will do it again, Chris, because I don't think that's ever going to leave the void. Um, but that was a, a mind blowing VR experience and something I think if you ever go to a mall and see one of those pods. Don't go to the pods. Go find yeah, your nearest, brutal. like, yeah, go find, like, your nearest, like, VR place and see if they are, find the void. They're all over North America. And do one of those experiences. They are, they will sell you on VR. And honestly, minus a few of the room scale and the fact you're grabbing guns in real life, like, the headsets you buy now, like, like offer up very similar experiences, just not blowing heat in your face and wind and stuff. But still, and your whole room doesn't shake, but... Yeah.